Good morning, North American traders. Privateer FX coming at you. Very quiet Friday in July. Trump just came out with some tweets and some news about 500 billion in tariffs. <coughs> Stocks got uh, hit. Cross yen got hit here. Tough to get too excited about this. Uh, but Merkel's also out saying don't screw with uh, car tariffs. We're short, we're core short Urien still. We still think this has more to play out. Uh, and S&Ps, they look interesting maybe through 90, but we're not going to, we're not going to touch that. Core short, uh, Euro yen seems to be playing and paying. It could also be core short Aussie yen in this mess. Uh, we've seen so much selling of Aussie this week. Structures. This was the talk of the town in London. People are smashing Aussie and looking for a three to five month downtrend. Uh, sort of starting now, well, really starting maybe three weeks ago, but this idea is alive and well. You can see it when it came off. I guess that was early June. Now we're sideways here, but a lot of people are thinking we're going to get another leg lower. So down through 7,300, maybe down, down to 6,800. This is a real theme, and maybe Aussie yen now. If you're a little bit late on the Aussie dollar side, maybe Aussie yen's your horse. Same type of sideways movement here, but prices down through 80, 70. You really you have six, seven percent of clear air down there. So something to consider. Core short Aussie yen. Kind of trade core short, and then if we do have a big risk off moment. You bang it through 8070. That's more of a medium term game. Otherwise, cable's just floating around. It's basically figure 40, down to the figure, back to 30, down to 10. Now it's 38. There's going to be some stops above 50, but pff, nothing to do in cable really. Euro, the same thing. Just sort of floating, bouncing around. If we do get uh, tariffs on German oil. Uh, German autos, Euro should get smacked. So keep your eyes on the news wire. 116.26 has been the low in Europe. Obviously, yesterday's low, more importantly, now 115.75. And you could argue that prices below 115.75 are going to bleed into 115, which has been, as everyone knows, the range low for the summer and a much looked after point by every market participant so this is something you definitely have to keep in mind elsewhere we got Canadian CPI Canadian banks that I speak to are are looking for a little bit of a hotter print here uh, mainly, mainly because of uh, gasoline prices. So, 1.9 is sort of consensus. Anything over 2.1, there'll be Canadian buying. Anything below sort of 1.7, there'll be Canadian selling. The chart's not helping us really here. There's not much to do in this chart through these highs that are important, but 40 points away. We're not playing uh, with the Canada today, but there will be some ball on this uh, CPI number. So if you if you got Canadian risk out there on your toes uh, in two hours' time. Otherwise, not too much to say. A little bit uh, jaded from my London trip, so keeping things light here.
looking forward to the weekend uh, and actually to let you guys know my summer travel schedule uh, continues I'm in the States next week I'm going to be taking a market free week next week so there will be no videos no commentary um, for a week and I won't even look at FX or stocks or Bitcoin for a week to spend some time with the family, go to the beach, see my American family, and then be right back ready to roll uh, first week in August. Good stuff. Good luck out there, people. I will see you in a week's time. Ciao.